Welcome back. It seems like only yesterday you were here. Or was it today? I'm not certain. Anyways, hopefully, when you right click now, you should see SVN Checkout. Right there. It should be new to you. Now, how do we use it? We need the links. You could surf the internet for days and travel amongst the wilds. Or I could just have the links. Yeah, I know. I'm a complete ass. There you go. Here's the linkies. Now, how do we use this new technology? Well, you would make a folder. Ignore this. This is for other part of the video. Put it up there. Now, we make a new folder. And we go, just like that. And we type wire. I'm just going to put wire A. Now, what do we do with wire A? This is the folder that wire will be installed into. <laughs> Whoa. We right click SVN checkout, just like that. Oh, looks like we've done this before. Now, you see this? You see this link? Now, up in the little section up here, my little post, I'll have the link. You can do the same. You copy paste a wire mod SVN source forge dot net forward slash SVN forward slash wire mod forward slash trunk forward slash oh my god you copy and you paste and you tell it okay I'm not because I already got it <laughs> now a little pop up might pop up and say you must have username and password you must to use it and we go back to the links and boom your username will be anon svn and your password anon svn real easy no now this is no longer useful to me but you should have whoopsie silly me <laughs> we need wire yours should look like this. Now you have a bunch of other miscellaneous crap inside of it. Mine's a little bit cleaned up. But these are the main files you need. Advanced Duplicator. Wire. And Wire Model Pack. Let's hurry up before I run out of time. You go to Start, Computer, Local Disk, usually C, Program Files, x86 if you're 64-bit. If you're not 64-bit, you will probably just have one folder, I believe. Don't quote me on it. x86, then we go from x86 to Steam, and then we go from Steam to Steam Apps. And then you go to your username. Yeah, I'm not very creative. Metroid Fighter would be it. For me, for you, hmm, maybe it's... No, I'm not going to say that. Go to Gary's Mod. Go to Gary's Mod again. Then go to add-ons. You put it in the add-ons. Open the add-ons. And what do you do? You take these three folders. Just these. These three folders. Advanced duplicator. Wire. Wire. Model pack one. We drag a box. And we... Right there. And we let it copy over. And do, do, do. we're done. We close that. We shrink that. We delete it. Boom. Get rid of it. Now, you should have Advanced Duplicator Wire Wire Model Pack. It should look exactly like you see it. Only like what you see. You see it there. Look at it. Look at it closer. Now, let me open it. You see? Do -do 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 -do. These are what the, it should be looking like. You see it? This is what it looks like. Do, 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 do. See? Looks just like that. Just like that. There you go. You're a big boy now. Now you see, we have Wire E, which for me stands for Wire Extras. And 
Where's Phoenix? Ooh, there's the Phoenix. We click it, and that's what it looks like on the inside. That is all. If you have a folder within a folder, and it has the files in it, you're not doing it right. It has to have, if you see it just like this, advanced duplicator, you see one folder, and then the contents. You cannot have a folder that says advanced duplicator, then another folder that says advanced duplicator, and then files. It will not work. Or if it does, it will not work properly. Or maybe it will in some strange dimension. I digress. That's how you do it. That's how you install it. I need to take the adrenaline pill out of my butt. And this is mainly how you do it. You can post questions down in the comments. I will try to help you. But if you're having computer difficulties, I am not going to help you. If you have download problems, I can see if I can help you. But if your computer takes a dump on you, or software-related issues, I don't know what to tell you. Get a better computer, or get somebody who's actually going to work on your computer for free. I'm here mainly for my tech members, my tech community, for our little tech server. But for anybody else out there that wants to take this little video and use it to broaden the horizons, go for it. These are the links. I will have them up over here on this side of the screen. Do not ask for the frickin' links or I will gut you like a trout. Anyways, I will also have links to the websites that should store these, mainly the Wire Mods website and so on. Have a nice day. This has been Metroid Fighter's co hopefully quick tutorial of how to download WireMod. Yay! Good day.